All right. This is the extended version of the rebuttal over claims that Moorish Americans are Africans and that Islam means a submissive stance to submit to another man. Basically, I'm going to go over all of the talking points and the slander of the Moorish American culture and the lies against the Holy Prophet Nobu Truali. And it is a good time to teach exactly who the Moorish Americans is, you know, word for word, so you can get it from the horse's mouth. You know, because we have people who are claiming to be self-proclaimed historians and scholars, and they feel like they are in a position to tell someone who's a real Moor or not. And they feel the need to tell us what the prophet Moore's divine mission was. See, we have a saying and an understanding in Moore's American culture that all of our people are to get their nationality. The prophet asked us to st stop procrastinating and get his people their nationality. So you cannot, di you cannot dictate who's a real Moore or what a real Moore is. A temple practicing Moore into the metaphysics and esoteric part of Islam and being a Muslim, those people that dwell in the temple have their own mission. But the people have to get their nationality and not be stateless. You understand? Do you understand what this is all about? So you have to have your own culture and your own spiritual practice to be looked at as human or you will be considered three-fifths citizens according to the 14th Amendment. So... We go directly in on what Islam mean and who are the Moorish Americans and what are their practices. So, in order to go in, in order to enter, you must first do an age-old ritual and practice and salutation to the forerunners and the people who came up before you, the great ancestors. So we do this We do this with the Moorish American prayer That's number one You know this humbles you So you stand to the east Five to the left, two to the right And you say Allah, the father of the universe The father of love, truth, peace, freedom and justice Allah is my protector My guide And my salvation By night and by day Through his holy prophet Noble true Ali It is The Moorish American prayer And you must be standing On your square At a 90 degree angle And Signs and symbols Are for the conscious mind And you must attend Your meetings To become adept In your learning And to become A learneth man So We go in on what Islam is so we can cover all the talking points of the aboriginals that wish to slam their the culture and the now past icons and leaders and prophets of our community and nation. So the religion of Muslims as revealed through Muhammad that existed before Muhammad, which he revealed to the ignorant. It literally means peace or purity being clean you know observing and submission to the spiritual side of man inside of man and not the physical carnation so as you can see salima is its root and peace is the number one understanding of salam so islam is in so many words saying salam you understand and if you are in our culture and you study with us, you would notice. But on the outside looking in, you have to listen to self-proclaimed scholars that is not even 40 or 50 years old. Someone we should not be respecting who could be possibly be a plant to misdirect the younger generation. Is so many times they have come with these fake ass leaders. Because as of right now, we don't have no leader right now. You know, they slam Umar Johnson over there with that school. You know, they slammed him to the curb. Then black extremism, uh, federal laws, killed Sarah Sutton, said them. Them niggas can't even act like they forming anything. 
It's a whole government agency that's going to keep them niggas from forming anything black. So the, the Frederick Douglass School is out of there. Uman them a fraud. Pan-African got the Ghana going, you know, coming back to Ghana. You know, and then there's the Aboriginal and more fight or argument over who was first over here. Erecting civilization. Who was old through the Reconstruction Act? You know, so we have that going on. So we don't have no leadership because uh, the Aborigine self-proclaimed historian is not no goddamn leader and admit that he don't know shit. So we goes in back to peace. Islam means peace. You know, so when I say Islam to somebody, you know, that's basically they saying it, Muslim are wrong when they say Assalamu Alaikum. You know, they greet themselves Assalam. How come we can't say Assalam or Islam? You know, vows are interchangeable. We say Islam, which is the core of Assalam. And they take an L for that. You know, trying to, you know, per, you know, find any little nitpick to disrespect us and make us look bad. Now, let's move on. You know, we know what Islam means. We got the prayer. You know, the root to the entrance of the Moorish diaspora. You must say your prayer every day. And... You know, you must understand their religious practices. They have a required weekly observance. And Friday is the holy day. And Sunday school classes is where the information is exchanged in your local Moorish Science Temple. And it's revealed by the most praised, which what Muhammad means. The most praised at the time revealed to us how things work on the esoteric and an actual physical level. Spiritual level, they taught us how to govern ourselves with ancient knowledge, thanks to them and the prophets who took knowledge from the ancient ancestors up out of Egypt, a Kemet. So we see a basic break breakdown of what the Moorish is. You know, they got the religious items, the practices, the medical prohibitions, burial rituals, dietary standards, sacred writings. You know, theology, Allah and Islam, the prayer, the constitution, and the bylaws. They got their own culture. They are a unique observance on life, and they have a deep history with the Moabites and the Canaanites and other Asiatics. So, we don't know who the, Mo who the Moabites and Canaanites is. And through the Moorish Americans, we can find out and get to the nitty-gritty on who is all what in this, you know, reconstruction period and the reparations. So... We have their religious practices about, you know, praying upright, not on, you know, kneeling down. We do not be submissive praying on our mats. We don't pray on rugs and we don't disrespect people who do pray on rugs. We stand on our square and we treat men with friendship and have a great appreciation for womanhood. We love the woman. We do not down the woman and call her the B word. We uplift her any chance we get wherever we see the woman. They must live a life of love and live the teachings of Islam as well. Moorish Americans do not eat pork or anything that will harm them. The Holy Prophet Noble Drew Ali did not drink or smoke and told the Moors to imitate him. Moors are not to use anything that will serve to shorten their life or destroy themselves. So, required occasional observances. Moorish American Tag Day, March 17th. Young People Moorish National League, first Saturday in December. Anniversary of the Sister Auxiliary, third Saturday in December, requ required holy days. The following holy days are, are days of work proscription. January 8th is Prophet Noble Drali's birth day. And January 15th, Moor Moorish American New Year. So, we get an understanding of what's important to the Moorish Americans out of the horse's mouth. And we see the insignia and the customary garbs are the fez, red color only. Holy Quran of the MST of A is the literature. Wallet size picture of Noble Drew Ali, circle seven medallion and a chain, two small lapel pins. And the religious items would be in security note. Fezes and lapel pins may be worn during services in the, in the chapel area only. So that means don't be out there flashing your stuff, flashing your uh, Moorish uh, customs amongst others, you know, bragging. You know, this is for your, you know, keeping and preserving. This is your culture, you know, and don't go out there, you know, amongst heathens. 
So Holy Quran of the MSTA is a religious item. The Questionnaire 101s, the humanity book, of course your Moorish literature, you know, you got to have the library, you know, deep, deep in uh, you know, it got to be resourceful. The divine constitution and bylaws you must practice because it balances your spiritual self. Moorish American newspaper, that's, you know, pretty old nowadays, whatever literature is on YouTube or, you know, internet uh, websites. Your Moorish flag and American flag to be displayed at every temple. A charter of war and of authority to be issued to every temple and branch by the proper authority. Branch temple information, oral stamp, statements of the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, picture of Noble Drew Ali, picture of the great meeting is on, Mufti Law books on security. So searches requires for uh, requirements for membership, all that, you know, look it up. Medical prohibitions, dietary standards, burial rituals, rituals, sacred writings that you must master to be adept and you know, that is the basis if you never heard it before, if you was too lazy to research. Next, let's go in on the quote. And as you can see, quotation marks, the Moorish Americans are descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. And as you can see, the Aboriginal leader by default he uh, also made a emphasis on that is a big quote. That is a big quote. Nothing is more bigger than that. And you're not going to get a more accurate rebuttal than this. And in answer, in the answer to the question of are Moorish Americans African? You know, we have been attacked for years, you know, and we ask y'all to come find out the truth. Now you got the answer right in your face. Look at the screen and all of these words right here. You know that I got up on this screen. You know, adept students can read this quickly and have no uh, no problem comprehending it. But I guarantee you the average man or woman cannot read this right now quickly and comprehend and break it down, the information that it contains. It is difficult, but I can. I'm a professional. I can read all this and I will read it to you. And on top of that, I will break down what this quote means. So, the biblical Moabites and the Canaanites are, are people that are encompassed in the civilization called Phoenicia in the confederation against D that I taught you about. I taught you about this because of my divine prophetic abilities. Already knew that this was going to be a topic. Do you not remember the video I just showed you and you thought I showed you that video for nothing? That, that is what the prophetic bloodline is all about, is knowing the future and what the future lays ahead. So the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and Hagarines and Yabal and Haman and Hamalek and Philistines with the inhabitant of Tyr, as Sir also joined with them, they have hope in the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as the Mid Midianites and to Sisera as to Jabin. Sisera will be Sierra. And Midianites would be where Mecca is. So that's Medina all the way to Sierra, Nevada in the four corners of America. If you know anything about history like me. So do to Moab as the Hagarings and Ammon and Amalek. They are about to destroy the confederation of D. And we go back to the Moabites. Who are the Moabites, right? Right? Who are the Moabites and are they Africans? Let's read. Where they got the prophet's quote from. Okay. We go to where they got the prophet's actual quote from. Sheik Wael and other Moors. You know probably got it from another source. Or ancient source. But we must quote them correctly. And interpret it. Interpret it correctly. So according to this source. Robert Stone Ill. Prophet Noble Drew Ali revealed the history of the Moabites and their brethren in the Western Hemisphere in a land referred to as the Americas. What is now known as the Americas is a part and partial of the dominions of Amexum. Let's get a good look of their map and have the ancient ancestors chop up the world when they were the leaders and dominators of it. So if you want to use the Bible or the Quran, you have to refer to the originators of it. And this is what they believed in before the great flood. 
So the history of a Maxim goes back to the Hamites and Kushites, according to the noble Drew Ali. A Maxim is the ancient name for Africa. In the ancient times, a Maxim included what is known today as the continent of Africa and North, Central, and South America and the islands of the Caribbean. So if the man is going to persecute noble Drew Ali for one sentence, quote, why not read all the information that the prophet brought? Simply, that's all we said. We are not saying you, all of you people are Moors. All we said was stop slandering the prophet and misclaiming Mississippi mound culture. Mound culture. You are misclaiming it. You people are from Washington, D.C. and Virginia and New York. You can't survive in Chicago with us right now today. Right now today, you are not going to come live in Chicago with us. Right now today, you are not going to come live in the South with us. Why are you people scared to live with us? You probably were scared to live with us back in the day. You feel me? And my family is from Alabama and Mississippi. And I got hella family from Michigan and Minnesota. So I'm trumping some goddamn Washington, D.C. residents and whatever they believe. So let's go back down to the information. The inhabitants of Africa are the descendants of the ancient Canaanites from the land of Canaan. Old man Cush and his family are the first inhabitants of Africa. So that means the Moabites or the Moorish Americans are not the first inhabitants. And the inhabitants of Africa who came from the land of Canaan, his father Ham and his family were second then came the word Ethiopia, which means the demarcation line of the dominion of a maxim. The first true and divine name of Africa, the dividing of the land between the father and the son. The map below this, this illustrates the above statements. So we had great wars among, amongst our people. We had great, great wars amongst us. And this is how we describe things. And we're asking you to take us into consideration. Not Great Britain. Not Christianity. Not Negroes in the church. Not Pan-Africa. You know, not Egypt Hotep. Not New Aboriginals. Let us explain what our literature has revealed to us in our instructions. The prophet goes on to say the Moabites from the land of Moab who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle and inhabit northwest Africa. They were the founders and other true possessors of the present Moroccan Empire with their Canaanite, Hittite, and Amorite brethren who sojourned from the land of Canaan seeking new homes. These are the Moabites, Hamathites, and Canaanites who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua and received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt. In later years, they, they formed themselves kingdoms. These kingdoms are called this, this day Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli. ETC. Don't forget the ETC. That means etc. Their dominion and inhabitation extended from northeast and southwest Africa across the great Atlantis, even unto the present North, South, and Central American, and also Mexico and the Atlantis Islands before the great earthquake, which caused the great Atlantic Ocean. Joshua received his commission from Prophet Musa in approximately 11. 85 BC to keep the Israelites on the path that Jehovah had intended for them. They were to be the agency to cleanse the lands of Canaan from those breaking the law. So people was out here buck forgetting to keep purity and peace. And they had to get dealt with for doing unclean, sinful things. Between the years of 1185 BT, BC and 1050 BC, Joshua, Joshua initiated the conquest of Canaan. So during this time, the Moabites under their various leaderships battled the Israelite forces. According to the book of Jasher, the armies of the Israelite consisted of Cushite forces that Musa had enlisted. So the Israelites had Africans with them, real deal Africans, and the Moabites were a fearsome people. They not only fought the Israelites, they also cursed them and refused them aid in the form of bread and water needed on their journeys through the land. So the Moabites was not only fighting the Israelites, before they became allies, you know, they was denying them food in their, you know, best lands. The action of the Moabites caused them to be expelled from the assembly of the Lord. The divine wisdom said a Moabite shall not enter into the assembly of the Lord. Even to the 10th generation shall none belonging to them enter into the assembly of God. Some of the Moabites were spared from destruction by the Israelites. In one case, 
Moabites and Canaanites under Rahab had a treaty with Israel. Joshua chapter 2 explains it as such. Joshua the son of Nun sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly saying, Go view land, even Jericho. And they went and came into the house of Rahab and lodged there. And Rahab said unto the men, I know that the Lord have given you the land and that your terror is fallen upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard now the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you. When you came out of Egypt, what did unto the two kings of Amorites were, were on the other side of Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom ye orderly destroyed. And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt, neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he and God in heaven above and earth beneath you. Now, therefore, I pray you swear unto me, thy Lord, since I have showed you kindness, that ye will also show kindness unto my father, O house, and give me a true token, and that you shall save alive my father and my mother and my brother and my sisters, and that all they have delivered our lives from death. And the man answered her, Our life for you, and it shall be when the Lord have given us the land that we will deal kindly and truly with thee. Behold, when we come into the land that shall bind the line of scarlet thread, Moabite flag, and the window which thou this let us thou by, and thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brother and thy father's or household unto thee, and it shall be that whatsoever shall go out of the doors of the house into the street, this blood shall be upon his head, red, fair, light, and we will be guiltless. And she said, according to her word, so be it, and she sent them away, and they departed, and she bound a scarlet line, Moabite, Moabite flag in the window. Thus by covenant and oath, these Canaanites and Moabites were spared their upheaval of the Israelites and joined them. So basically, after the destruction was led on the old confederation against the, the Amalek, the Ammons, the great, you know, so-called ancestors of the Naga, Naga kings, you know that they, Ethiopia, assembled against. Joshua was about to break this stuff up because, you know, they became too big. So that some of the uh, Moabites and the Canaanites wind up doing the right thing and they got spared. The prophet is saying we are those people because they sent out to destroy all of Canaan. And Moabites got back right. So the question is, are the Moabites Africans? No, it says the Moabites were driven out of the land of Canaan, which is Canada to some. And... Their usage of the land. So basically, we have the Moabites being the Americans who inhabited the shores of Northwest and Southwest Africa. So they, it says they inhabited. It does not say that they are Aboriginal. It says Cushion them were the first to inhabit Africa and the Canaanites and the Dominion. Extended from Africa all the way across to Mexico. That is what the prophet said. So they are misquoting the prophet. And it says the Moabites are fearsome people. They rolled with the old Canaanites and their black power beliefs. Their ability of the eumelanin and the secretion of the third eye for supremacy. Known as the pineal gland. And this practice these people believe they are supreme and they had cone heads. And they were taken down for being freaks of nature and giants. So the Moabites rolled with them in the old days and they were spared because they got their minds right. And, and we have people wanting to know. We got people wanting to know if the Moabites are from Africa. If the Moorish Americans are descendants of the Moabites from Africa why are they in aboriginal business so let's go into that okay the demarcation line here it is right here it says the Moorish Americans are descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa so, ask yourself, where does it say that we are Africans? It says we inhabited Africa, that we joined with the Canaanites, who was the world power of the day. 
Just like Great Britain and Christianity made your ass join today. And the Welsh and Uncle Sam made your ass join today. And the superpowers of the day made the Asiatics join today back then. Because it says Asiatics right here. It says it right here that the Asiatics... Form kingdoms over there, Tunis, Algiers, Morocco. So the Asiatics, who was kicked out of their old kingdoms, winded up forming kingdoms in Africa and ETC. You understand me? So that don't mean that they are Africans because uh, the pharaohs allowed them to do that. And they were the Hamathites, the Canaanites, and Moabites, and that was their confederation of D. You know, you know, they formed their own kingdoms after. Their big dog ancestors got taken out. After their big dog ancestors got taken out, they had something called the Moorish culture. During this time, these are the ancestors after Jesus got killed or Messiah got killed. You understand back in the day? So they formed kingdoms after that, after Moses, Moses, after Jesus, after all the patriarchs, they formed kingdoms called the Phoenician and it says right here exactly who these people is. So the most except the uh the most significant event of the Moabites joining the Israelites and becoming Israelites themselves was to happen later. One of the Moabite daughters named Ruth married into the Israelite family. Her husband was named Boaz of the tribe of Judah. When that was done, a blood tie was forged, or we call it a binding tie. Through this tie, the Moabite returned back into the assembly of the Lord. Regarding the migrations from east to west by the ancient peoples of the Bible, Native American tradition, especially Mayan records, a migration to my Mexico, a Mexican by Israelite, it has been established that Israelites included not only Israelite, Israel and Judah, but also the Moabites, Canaanites, and others that joined them in their cause of exacting God's will. The Tutulo Totuna Kapan of September 54, 1554 gave an account which is similar to the Old Testament. From the creation to the ba Babylonian captivity, this narration follows the Bible closely. The 16 authors of the Tutulo use biblical names and references to describe their people's origins part of the records read. The three wise men, the Nahuels, the chiefs and leaders of Three great peoples and others who joined them called you my mate. The ancients extending their sight over the four parts of the world and over all that is beneath the sky and finding no obstacle came from the other part of the ocean from where the sun rises from a place called in Mayan Patulan Pasivan. The principal chiefs were four together these tribes come from the other part of the sea from the east from Patulan Pasivan. These then were the three nations of Quiches, Moabites, Hamathites, Canaanites, and they came from where the sun rises, descendants of Israel of the same language and same customs. So we have verifiable sources that the Moabites and Hamathites and Canaanites are a part of the Quishan customs. The Tatulo continues. When they left Patulan Pasivan, the first leader was Balaam Quitse by unanimous vote. And then the great father Naxit gave them a present called Garan Yoran Yal Yal when they arrived at the edge of the sea. Balaam Quitse touched it, the sacred director, with his staff and once a passage opened, which then closed up again for thus the great God wished it to be done because they were the sons of Abraham and Jacob. Balaam or Balaam means Lord of the people. The name is Mid Midianitish. But has reference to the Moabites and Midianites. The Midianites were nomadic people of northwestern Arabia, east of the Gulf of Aqaba, and were represented as descendants of Abraham and Keturah. The historian Ixel Lil, Lil Zaktil Lox Shatil wrote a revealing account of a connection of the West Mexico and Mexum. Two of the events of the floods in the Tower of Babel, Ixel Til Lex showed. Shitlow's history was organized around a four world age system, a period lasting 716 years and consisting of a water age, a wind, air age, an earth age, and fire age. The water age, which began 
begins in 4829 BC, lasts until the Great Flood in 3113 BC. The biblical the biblical chronology gives an approximate range of between 2348 BC and 2234 BC as the time frame of the deluge and the destruction of the Tower at Babel since the Mayan were master timekeepers. It is probably safe to say that their reckoning is more accurate than that of the church fathers. So afterwards, men multiplying made a very tall and strong Zakuali, which means the very high tower in order to shelter themselves and win the second world would be destroyed. When things were not at their best, their languages were changed and not understanding each other, they went out to different parts of the world. And the Totecas, who were as many as seven companions and their wives, seven companions and their wives understood their language among themselves, came to these parts having first crossed large land and seas, living in caves and undergoing great hardships until they came to this land which they found a fertile for their habitations. And they say they traveled for 104 years through different parts of the world and said they arrived at Huawei way to Lapan, their country, which happened, say, take their power, for it has been 520 years since the, the deluge had taken place, which are five ages. So we have Mexican proof of these people having the same biblical account. And the Moabites and their children operate in the empire that extended from the kingdoms of Morocco, Adjurs, Tunis, Tripoli, Mali, Guinea, ETC on to the Asiatic nations and countries in North, South, and Central America that included the land which is currently inhabited by the Moorish Americans and Mexicans in North America, Brazil, Argentina, and Chile in South America, also including Colombia, Nicaragua, and San Salvador in Central America. All of these people were in our Muslims. This concludes the history of the Moabites in the Mexican and America. This account is strictly based on which is mentioned in the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Circle 7, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Drew Ali. There is more wisdom to be to be learned on the people of Atlantis and its history as well as the kingdoms and empires that preceded Atlantis. However, this was not the intention of this pamphlet. There are many books and pamphlets of subject of Atlantis and Lemuria and readers are encouraged to seek them out. Don't stop with the Moorish Americans talking about the Asiatics that dispersed after the flood. Research on your own, but the Moorish Americans know where they roll at, and they roll with the Moabites and the Canaanites, and these people are also mentioned in the church books, in the Islam books, and they did descend from ancient Canaanites and Moabites. It proves Ruth, the Moabites, married into the Canaanites. You understand? So we are the Mu. Let's look up the Lemuria. Mu of So we understand we understand what we dealing with with the Quishay because according to the the MST of A, the Moabites, Canaanites, and Ham Hamathites make up the Quishans of South America. And this is their information that we all been rolling with since um you know we been on the Aboriginal scene. I mean it became mainstream since like 2010, 2009, 2008. You understand we have all these Islamic nations, you Uyghur, China claims they were forced into Islam, Philippine Moros, Caroline Islands, Guinea Islands. Fiji Islands, Tonga, Mu, Marquesas, all the way to the Quishan Imira. So we was the ones dropping this information. Now they're using it against us. Church war been breaking down the Mu, and that has been in America for over 50,000 years. I think it's. Let's see his name. James Church, which before I go back, James Church would reveal more in America. Okay. Uh, 
to see if, the, yeah. Here you go. So we see another source. And we have the children of Mu. We have the Lemu. And we have the Moabites. We have Kilimawi. We have Samoa. We have an Asiatic presence. And we have a so called black gods. Nega black gods of the Pacific. And the children of Mu. We have Asiatics all over. We even have the Kanana. We have these people all over with proof. They are Israelites. And these people are attacking us. You got to understand they are meritless. They are basically retarded. And they are saying that I'm embarrassing. We have the prophet of Mwanga, po Mwanga Pohatu. And he claims to be a part of the patriarch. So basically he's saying these patriarchs and these warriors and these kings lived all over the world in the Pacific Ocean and America leaving their seed. And he's a part of that. You can't take that from him. This man is claiming to be a part of the Canaanites in the Moabites tradition. And we see the proof of Mu over here. And they call it Easter Island Tahiti Samoa's Cook Tongas Marshall with about 60 million people in the Marianas, Hawaii, Marquesas. You know, stone tablets found in Mexico near Mexico cities. The cliff dwellers writing in inscriptions found in Western North America. These confirmations are all given in the lost consonants of Mu. So this is research most of us been on for 10, 15 years. Now you got a younger... Younger guy on here telling us uh, what not to research on Google and a laptop. You understand the trickery and the downplaying of the information. So let's go into where they say the eastern lines of colonization from Mo began. Let's say Argentina and the motherland of South America, Caras Carians, and what we're going to call Mexico Valley. Let's go in on that and who these people is and we close the video out. So we got the question right here, the, the basis of this video. We have the uh, the Moorish Americans are descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. So basically they saying once upon a time these westerner people dominated Africa at one time when they linked up with the Canaanites. That's all they're saying and it is confirmed even in the Bible with the confederation against D. It's showing Moab helped the Hagarans. The Philistines, the Phoenicians, even the Ottoman, and even the Assyrians. All these Islamic nations. And a prophet of Islam came and reminded you of that. And we have people disrespected him. Do you people understand what is going on? If you can wake up to this, you will understand who is in line for reparations and the lost civilization that is getting raped and robbed. This is critical. This is very critical. So... Let's end it. What we say we we're going to prove with the ending. We pretty much got it nipped in the bud who the Moabites is and you know where they stand on um, being from Africa. Maybe they did, you know, go and conquer Africa and all of that. So let's go in on the Kushuan. Who are Kushuan? Since we know that they, you know, all this, they are African stuff. All this, you know, South American are African people. You know, a lot of people like to just throw that out there. They are black. They're black slaves. You got from a holy prophet of Islam telling you that the Quiche makes up of the Canaanites, Moabites, and Hamathites. So it is not just African. It is a confederation of people that populated this part of the world. So now we understand what the what the inking is. We get an idea of what's going on with these people. You understand me? What an inking is and a question. They not they just say an ink and they not saying question or I Myra. Yeah, some niggas is revealing this, but they not revealing the Islamic connection, the Spanish connection, which is Moorish. They are lying to you, and we are coming to save the day. I got this. 
So we see what 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 Kashuan is, and you know we already did videos on this, and that that's on them for not being on top of it. The thing is, my people, they are even called Mara. I'm Mara. How plain as day is that? And the prophet linked us up with them. And just because you forgot who you are don't mean that they have to forget who they are. And they make sure to have a fez on their head. And they're American Islam. And they're, and they're Moorish culture. So, I'm, I don't have to show black or Negro Bolivians or South Americans. Because you have your professional Aboriginal leaders doing it already. I don't have to show more ones. You understand what an Aymira is. So if if let's see if some Venezuelans some Venezuelans got some 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 product. We know they got raw material. Of course they're going to be trading in Europe and everywhere else. So we got some Venezuelans who they call the, the Phoenicians. Let's see who the Phoenicians. We already been through this. It's not my fault people can't. So we have Venetians. Let's say who Venetia is. Because who is Venetia? So we understand, right? We understand Venetia, right? It's a fancy name. You know, for Venezuelans and water water people, Moorish people, oh, they call Phoenicians. You call the Phoenicians because they tricked you into Phoenician. So, who are Phoenician? We know for a fact that the Aboriginals now recognize Phoenicians as first Americans and their alphabet. And they were an ancient civilization in Canaan. So we understand Joshua driving the Canaanites up out of that and who the confederation of D is. I don't have to con I don't have to continue this video, but you see where they're fit. They actually validate everything that we've been teaching all this time. You understand? You understand? So we know the Moabites is a part of this. Phoenician people and the Canaan. It says that they sided with Canaan and was punished for it, but later redeemed themselves when peace came to earth because the patriarch and the Most High did not want us. The prophet, the patriarchal prophethood, nobility did not want us to fall from grace. So Moses had to, you know, where there was drug dealing at, where there was prostitution, where there was gay at. They had to go and destroy those places. That's what they do all the time. So they're going to always have religion destroying evil. And that's how they did it back in the day. Moses had to shake us up a little bit. Just like we we had to get reminded today about of our sinful ways. So now you know who Phoenician is. Who Mu is. I was given the opportunity to teach. They can't come up with no other version of this. We understand Venezuelans had to yay. Let's say Pope. No, nah, we had just go to my uh let's just go to my page. Nah, we don't even have to. Pope who endures cocaine. Okay. The Pope himself, um Believed that uh, cocaine was a good, you know, the original French cocoa wine was good tonic that hospitals should use. So you can imagine if the Pope had his eyes on cocaine and the source of it being America, you can understand why my Moses and the forces was busting heads and why the Pope, you know, seized the opportunity to run over here because you got to understand the Pope gave the lands to Spain and Portugal and then Britain all of a sudden runs everything so we get we got to get to the nitty-gritty of world wars and everything and it is good that we are having the con the conversation 
I don't want to down these people because I know they are beneath the information that we present. But now that we know the truth, we can move on. Everyone is under me, and by default, you cannot be a leader. You cannot be a self-proclaimed historian because you don't know jack shit about anthropology and other cultures that exist simultaneously with you in your own secluded little world when you believe that you live by yourself. So we understand Venezuela and Fiji, what I already... You know, I'm getting credit for this information. It's going to be me who get credit for it because I already taught it. No other Moorish American historian has presented this information but me throughout the years. And that's why I'm staying down to make sure nobody else steals the crown. So... So we get an understand of our mo, our mo mo ancestries on the west coast in the Wilkes Island from a savage chief of the Fiji Islands in 1833 who was charged with killing U.S. sailormen who was illegally on his land. He was captured and he was the king of 172 islands where Donald Trump has a I, he owns some of this. I can look it up right now. You people are asleep. Nigga, they pay these niggas to disrespect me. Nigga, it's no way around you clowns, nigga. You niggas can you can never you can never you can never sit face to face with me because this is critical, nigga. You understand you can never be in the same room with me. Cause you're not a fighter for the truth and justice, nigga. Now let's understand this. These are the West Coast people. You understand it was already here that looked like us with picks in their head. You understand? But when you go back up on their information, these niggas are Islam too. The prophet already said they was Islam. So why you think I'm doing this? You thinking I'm making videos to, dis to uh, disrespect Scam Calloway? Nigga, that nigga disrespected the prophet Islam and Chicago like I said. These are Islamic people who are about to get ran in on. These are the Phoenicians. That's why Islam is a big part of this. They keep their traditions. Our traditions is that we are from Asia and we understand the ring of fire is in the Pacific Ocean. We understand where the wealth is at. That's why we are plain rich. We know where we come from. And we got some hating ass niggas out here and I'm on it. So, you know, you know who they fight for. They don't speak no goddamn Vendovi language. They don't got no records in Vendovi. You understand me? They don't got no records. They don't have no records. They have English records. They can't touch me. They can't touch my information. They cannot trust. They cannot touch me. Noble Drew Ali. More bites going to Africa getting some lands just mean that. We got lands over there. That's our land too. It's a maxim. Deal with it. Deal with it. Stop playing with me. You know, because it's only going to get worse. My Islam video got real Islamic proof. It's just taking me time. To get the Moorish interpretations I need. You know. The Moorish interpretations I need, the Arabic interpretations I need to prove who was a Moor, who was a real man leading in Islam in America. I got information on that. I got Arabic. I got, I got Middle East people who support it with their research. It is already recognized and accepted, and a lot of Arabs is, is usurping some of our places like Moorish Opalaka in Florida. We need to get on top of this. Islam is not. Okay, let me let me let you understand. Islam don't work like that. An Arab can't come just because Islam was in America. They cannot come take our past. That is our culture, our particular culture. Arabs don't have right over our culture. That's why this is critical. We must fight for this. Islam is ours too. It don't make a difference what religion was over here. It's first Americans. It's all ours. You must support that. We've been on the seas before them. You understand that over here? They will teach you. I already dropped videos on that. And it is on them for not knowing this. They got sales. They had the number one sales on earth at one time. These are the ancient navigators. My research is based off this. Not off a, off a, off a laptop like that, disrespect, that disrespectful bastard insisted. And guess what? It won't stop. I know it hurt. I know the truth hurt. Trust me, I know the truth hurt. That's why they taking 
jabs and shots instead of confronting the information. You cannot trace Native American history and heritage in English because it is new on the commercial scene. And on top of that, I answer the question, are Moabites Africans or Americas? It's plain as they interpret it pro properly. We know what the Moorish Americans are, what they stand for. You got it. It's about peace and looking out for the woman is part of their belief and mission. If anybody tell you anything different, they're a liar. We're going we gonna to be on top of it. We hope you assist us. You hope We hope you look out for us because it seems like all they can do is slander us. That's all they got. You understand what I'm saying? We all about love and showing love and the truth is our number one weapon. We cannot lose and we know it. We know art and holy zeal is our number one weapon. We can't lose. I challenge anybody. You know what I'm saying? My folks video is coming out. I will prove ain't no nigga no GD. Ain't no Moorish American no GD. I'm going to be proving that on my next up and coming videos. So peace out. I know I'll prove what I had to prove. And if there is more if I left out, I'll get back to it.